Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have one of my favorite unboxings for you guys today. It is fortune cookie soap, so let's jump right into this. All right guys, this collection, when I open these flaps, it is so good. Well, Byron wanted to jump up and be unboxing with us today, so he is going to be my little assistant. But this theme, I, Fortune Cookie Soap is just killing it with these Disney themes lately. And this is no exception. This makes me so happy inside my heart. And it is the Enchanted Wood, which is clearly based on Pooh Bear. Ah, like it's so cute. Okay, so this is the March 2021 box. Let me go ahead and jump in. So let's see what the sticker says. How do you spell love? Asked Piglet. You don't spell it, you feel it, said Pooh. Oh my gosh. Right there in the field. So let's jump in. We got this beautiful red tissue paper for Pooh Corner. So have you guys ever heard this theory, urban myth, whatever, that I actually find really interesting that all the Winnie the Pooh characters relate to some sort of mental illness? um or some sort of mental condition i actually think it's it's really interesting so i guess like eeyore is meant to be depression Pooh is always the one that they kind of go back and forth about because they say like it could be manic or maybe bipolar or even just emotional overeating i don't know um but the one that i relate to the most is definitely rabbit he is super ocd and everything just if anything goes wrong it's just like ah oh, i spent so much time organizing that and i i totally relate to that life so i also relate to piglet a little bit because dear to dear to dear 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 he's got the anxiety um so i relate to piglet a bit but i relate to rabbit in a big way so yeah. All right. So let me go ahead and jump right in. If you relate to any of the characters or you have heard that or think there's any truth to that, let me know. All right. So the first thing that we have is a Friends Forever perfume oil. Love their perfume oil. And let's see. This says, uh, a day spent with you is my favorite day. Sun-kissed, sliced apples, dewy, diced dewy ripe pears, bright wildflowers, and blonde woods. Is this not the cutest spring collection? Oh, that smells so good. I know that's a weird reaction to perfume, but it smells like so just springy and I don't know, friendshipy. It's so good. I'm trying to get some of this out. I'm having a hard time getting the rollerball started. Oh my gosh, that that smells so good. I do different things with these perfume oils. I use them as diffusers sometimes, but this is one that I'm gonna be wearing because it's so floral and citrusy. It's it's really, really nice. So I will keep that as a perfume oil and I'm excited about that. All right, next thing. I'm the only one lip scrub. And this says, once in a while, someone amazing comes along and here I am. Sweet, delicious notes of honey blend with the fresh tea nuances in a perfect combination. So I'm actually gonna save this for a giveaway, but I am just going to open it as you can see and without getting too close, it smells very, very, very good. So it, it is not sealed, which is why I say that, but I am going to not use that. And I am going to set that aside for a giveaway because I have a ton of lip scrubs right now. Um, so I might regift it, but I think I'm gonna put it in a giveaway. All right, so the next thing, looking for sunshine, honey, and bee pollen night cream. Ooh, have we ever gotten a night cream? I don't think so. And this says, uh, it never hurts to keep looking for sunshine. The tranquil lavender woody fragrance is heightened, brightened, excuse me, by lemon and sweetened with a hint of honey. It says, please note, if you are allergic to bee stings, we recommend not using this lotion. Hmm. Well, I am allergic to bee stings, <laughs> severely. So I'm not going to use this lotion. It... It smells so, so, so nice. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll put that in a giveaway as well. I, that makes me incredibly sad. So I will set that aside. Oh, I was so excited about trying that. I am like severely deathly allergic to bees. So that would be not good. I don't know why, like, is it the hint of honey? Cause I'm not allergic to honey. I might actually reach out to the company and ask them about that. So we'll find out. That's interesting. All right, and the last thing is absolutely the cutest and it is in a little honey pot. Is this not so cute? And this is a bath and shower gel and it says, I wasn't going to eat it. I was just going to taste it. The fragrance captures the freshness, freshness of summer citrus and luscious, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me today? 
The fragrance captures the freshness of summer citrus and luscious apricot with the warmth of freshly harvested honey. That's my, my newscaster voice. All right. That's so good. That's amazing. So yeah, that also has honey. So I'm not sure why the one doesn't work, but this one will. But I'm going to reach out. I'll find out. See what's up. All right, guys. So that is my fortune cookie soap for month. Love this theme. Love these products. Let me know in the comments down below what you think or if you're getting this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.